Donald Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen, has pled guilty to eight criminal charges. But according to Donald Trump, the crimes that implicate him aren't really crimes. Here's what he tweeted out. Michael Cohen pled guilty to two counts of campaign finance violations that are not a crime. President Obama had a big campaign finance violation and it was easily settled. Okay. <laughs> First up, let me just say that Trump is wrong. Yes, they are crimes. Michael Cohen would not have been able to plead guilty to them if they weren't crimes. But let me break it down even further. Speaking under oath in court Tuesday, Michael Cohen admitted arranging payments to keep a former Playboy model and a porn star quiet during the 2016 election about alleged affairs, quote, in coordination with and at the direction of a candidate for federal office, Trump. He told the judge that he knew what he was doing was illegal, but that he did it anyway. So this is the important point here. Cohen said he knew what he was doing was illegal as he was pleading guilty to it. This is incredibly important because this separates campaign, a campaign finance violation that is a crime versus what is a civil matter. So let's break it down even further. In 2013, the FEC did find then President Obama's 2008 campaign $375,000 for failing to report financial paperwork, political reported at the time, and that the fine was among the largest the FEC had ever mandated against a presidential campaign. A source familiar with the violation described it as a, quote, pretty low-level thing that was more of a paperwork error, noting that the error was fairly benign, but the fine was large given the amount of money the campaign took in. And arguably more importantly, there was no evidence anywhere that the campaign had knowingly and willfully tried to cover up its donations. Quote, civil fines are paid by campaigns all the time. Obama paid them. John McCain paid them. They're inadvertent violations, said Rick Hasen, a professor at University of California, Irvine, who specializes in election and campaign finance law. It's not the amount of the money. It's the willfulness, knowing you're violating the law. Now, look, most people don't know these details. And guess what? I didn't either until I actually read into them. But even on the face of it, the idea that the judge would have let Cohen plead guilty if what he was pleading guilty to wasn't a crime is insane. But unfortunately, a lot of Trump supporters are going to read this tweet and think, yeah, Obama did the same thing. What's the big deal? There is a massive, massive difference here. One is some paperwork errors. The other is Donald Trump violating campaign finance law in order to pay off a couple of porn stars that he had affairs with. That's a big difference. If Obama did what Trump did, what do you think conservative voters would be saying? What do you think Fox News would be saying? So give me a break. Yes, Cohen broke the law. He pled guilty to it. And it also implicates Trump which may hopefully lead to the downfall of this presidency.